The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 video. Guys, today what we're playing is Ranked Salary Cap, and this is against I'm Wild 7. If you guys remember that name, it's actually because he was a semi-finalist in the most recent huge Madden tournament that EA put on, the Madden Championship. He fell short against Problem right in the semi-finals, but he was an absolute beast throughout that whole tournament. And in today's video, guys, you're gonna be seeing me play him head-to-head, -head, one -on one-on-one here in Madden 17 on Salary Cap, which is the game mode that he made it to the semifinals with. So, uh, with that said, I'm not going to come out here and try and tell you guys that I am the best player of Madden by any means. I am definitely not. Um, it, but I think this game was pretty entertaining. It's definitely closer than I expected it to be. When I saw his name, I almost just quit because I was like, there's no way I'm going to have a chance in this game. But I don't know if he was taking it easy on me or what, but I was able to move the ball fairly efficiently, uh, moving it down the field here. We're using a lot of the halfback wheel uh, just against somebody who is a good player. I think that's a pretty solid play typically to do. But right here, yikes. Oh, what a bad read. The Stevie Wonder read by Clickwood there <laughs> gets the interception by I'm Wild, and he's going to start taking me apart here with Derrick Henry in the running game, man. This guy knows how to run the ball, and not just with one cheesy run play. Like, with every run play, he's picking up four, five, six, seven yards almost every single time. Very, very difficult to stop. And, I mean, this is only a gold running back. But Derrick Henry for salary cap, dude, I don't know if there's a better value running back in the game right now. And I know a lot of you guys are using him. But, dude, it is so difficult to stop him, I'm telling you. And look at this dot right there, right over my user. I went from one guy to the other. I couldn't quite get back there in time. And he does pick up a big gain there, and he's continuing to move the ball down the field. For some reason there, I got a weird animation with Champ Bailey. It was like I was holding the A button to do the conservative tackle, or the X button on PlayStation is what I was using. Um, and for some reason, he just stood there and let him run around him. And, I, I, you know, obviously a big gain there by I'm Wild. And now he's going to be here in the range to score a touchdown. We've got to make a big goal line stand here. I know he wants to run the ball. So we're definitely going to be, you know, not necessarily committing on the run, but, you know, putting our guys in the position to stop as many of the runs as we can. He's only got 13 yards on five attempts at this point. And right here on third and goal, he is going to pass it into the end zone. We bat it away. And he is going to go for it now on fourth and goal here from the four yard line. I was definitely expecting another pass, but unfortunately, he's going to catch me off guard here. And I'm really just not in a good place here. We do hit him, but he just drove he just drove right on through it and got into the end zone really unfortunate broken tackle there for me um it wasn't able to to stop him there that would have been a huge stop for me i would have been at my own goal line probably would have taken a safety but um you know still it would have been a nice way to stop him from getting points there on that drive but we're down seven here after throwing that user pick and look at him moving with his users but we're going to find J.J. Nelson all the way down the field for a massive completion. I'm 6 of 7 for 67 yards. The only incompletion at this point coming on that, uh, you know, obviously the uh, interception that we threw earlier. So doing very, very well at that point. 7 of 9 now after an incompletion. And we do get into the end zone there. Another nice pass prior to that to J.J. Nelson. I mean, I love that. It's a bronze card if I remember correctly. Now, check this out here because I've been seeing this happen a lot. And look at that. Oh, my God goodness a minute 53 left he throws up the aggressive catch whenever people move their wide receiver out of this formation to, all the way to the outside to the right it's almost always going to be that they're going to try and bomb it deep with a vertical so what i've been doing is trying to take it away by my usering that cornerback and it actually worked out pretty well there i got there in the position and i should have been able to make a play on it but for some reason his receiver just made a crazy play on the ball and uh, he did get the the catch and then broke the tackle too i mean if he's not good, he's not good enough. Then you know, obviously, he's also getting the the breaks there. But we do make a nice catch there with Herman Moore again. Single coverage there. Uh, he's not really using it or anything like that. So I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and throw it up to him. Why not? You know. And look at David Johnson here. We're hitting him in the flats there and really doing damage against this blitz that he's trying to run off the left side. It's really leaving both sides in the flats kind of open. And I love throwing it to David Johnson in that swing route. It really does a lot of damage for me. But right here, look at that nice little pass there. 16 seconds left here in the half. I'm expecting him to go to that 
outside pass again. Again, he's going to move his guy all the way to the outside there. And check this out. We're going to put Champ Bailey right in the position to stop it. He says, screw it. He's throwing it anyway. He made the play before. <laughs> Thankfully, we're a little bit more conservative there. We swat that one away. Now, again, what do we got here? Eight seconds left in the half. And I see it happen again. I get my user over there. And I'm going to try and user stop it one more time. This time, he throws it a little bit more of a bullet. And my gosh, he comes down with it again against Champ Bailey. And I'm swatting. You know, I'm trying to swat the ball. There's really not anything you can do about that. I mean, it's basically a Madden 16 aggressive catch. Really, really frustrating that he completed both of those, or two of those, I should say, against me in the first half because that was a lot of his offense, and it turned into a field goal there. So he is up 17 to 14 going into the second half, and he does get the ball coming out of the half as well. Nice little pass there to his running back. Again, he's just doing so much damage with his running backs against me. It's very, very difficult to stop this guy. And uh, he's pretty much scored every time that he's had the ball. Now, right here, I expected that I was going to get a sack there. But take a look at this replay here. Aaron Rodgers is just going to make a ridiculous ass throw. Like, I have no freaking words for that. Like, what? I hit him and he still, while he's falling to the ground, throws it out of bounds. Like, it was just a perfect pass out of bounds. Like, I have no words for that. Nice little broken tackle there for him and, and a great juke there. I think that was Ezekiel Elliott breaking off a big run. But really, we should have stopped him for a short gain, if anything. Do stop him for a loss there. Bringing up a second and 11. Uh, really frustrated that I didn't make that stop earlier. But right here, he did have a running back there uh, kind of going out to the outside there. But we were able to get the pressure. Javon Curse is just an absolute monster for me on that right side. Look at him. Pretty much every single time he's abusing that right tackle. Just absolutely punishing him uh, off the edge almost every single time. Now, fourth and five. He made a completion on the previous play. And so we're getting our guys into position here. I'm trying to make an audible. And we get flagged for being offsides and it gives him a freaking first down are you kidding me take a look at this again who is offsides there's not anyone who is offsides like that is absolute bs and it gives him another amazing break going in his direction make a nice hit there again on ezekiel elliott so uh we're starting to stop the run at least somewhat he's not just completely abusing me on offense which i'm i'm pretty happy about i, I was expecting to just get murdered here taking away that post route but look at that oh we nearly swat that one away and nearly get the interception on the jump or on the um drop as well He's going out there trying to pass it to the outside, I feel like, again. But it was actually more of a uh, hook route there of some sort. And unfortunately, he is going to be able to complete that one that time there in traffic. But he does come up with it. First and goal here, we've still got to make a stop, man. If he gets into the end zone, he's going to be up two full scores. And I don't think I can make the comeback. So we definitely need to make a big stop here. Second and goal, he's going to run it again right up the middle. And we're making the plays in the backfield, trying to shut down his run forcing him to pass, pulling our safeties up, doing everything that we can. Again, off the edge there. I believe that was Javon Curse again getting to him. And this time he is going to take his field goal to go up six. So now my goal is basically to take the ball and try and run out every second of the clock that I can. Look at David Johnson here. We're running a lot of Wildcat, man. And even against good players, this thing is working for me. I don't know what it is. But again, my goal here is basically to run out as much clock as I can in this game. And uh, look at, again, monstrous runs here by David Johnson. Huge, huge play. Uh, but I want to run out as much clock as I can here because I do not want him to get the ball back. So you're going to see me already starting to chew clock here. Third and five here. And we're going to pass it short. David Johnson, again, going to pick up another first down. Just about two and a half minutes left now. And again, we're continuing to run. Now, I could have tried to cut that thing out and get into the end zone, but I did not want to give him the ball. I want to score with just a few seconds left if I can. That's the goal. I mean, obviously, I have to get into the end zone, but my bigger goal is to actually stop him because I don't think that I can stop him from at least kicking a field goal. I think he would have no problem. Now, fourth and inches here. This is a big, big play, and we are going to pick it up there by just taking it up the middle on the Wildcat with David Johnson. This Cleveland playbook has some amazing amazing wildcat plays in it and look at david johnson here nearly getting into the end zone down at the one yard line but his qb sneak defense we ran it once there and he stopped us second time he's gonna stop us again this time for a loss third and goal 45 seconds left here and we're gonna get stopped trying to run it up the middle again there with david johnson now fourth and goal 13 seconds left on the clock i called a timeout to make sure all my guys were gonna not have stamina issues and we are gonna get stopped in the backfield 
We do lose this game, unfortunately. A great game, though, to I'm Wild, man. I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, it was a very close one. I thought that I had a good chance there, and really I did. If you go back and watch the replay here, and I'll show it at the very end, uh, I did have a chance, but the guy that I had on the left outside there to make a block was actually a middle linebacker because my other guys were tired, unfortunately. Or I don't know if I didn't have enough players for salary cap or what, but uh, if you take a look here, it's actually Alec Ogletree out there making blocks or completely fanning on the blocks in this case. So that was a little bit unfortunate that we do take the loss in this one, but it was a good game. Uh, I felt good about how I played for the most part. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, quick drop a like on the video, please. Thank you so much for all the support. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.